PlayStation controllers a lot. I like PlayStation. I can't Sorry. play Xbox because I can't get the controller right on my hand. Like especially the way it's shaped, I have to like move my whole fat. hand to hit it. Yeah, yeah I have a do this control. every time fat I want to do controller. something. I'm like, yeah, I do that same shit. I don't like the triggers up top either because the, the right trigger is like. Yeah. There's, yeah, two different triggers. One's like real small and one's like real huge. And GameCube's built for kids with three hands. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Nintendo 64 had like that weird try thing. I don't know. Really the know. damn Triforce controller? Yeah. No. No, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. Those things, were, those things were difficult to handle, they were weird. I had, I had the, the three things coming out. None of us have headphones. It's just for me. I'll get more headphones eventually, but I mean, I have other money to spend on things. No, I said I wanted to hit buttons, but I don't. Oh, I thought you said I don't have headphones. No. I'm gonna hit Anyways. We already started on that and that bad audio. Yeah, everyone just smack the table. Let's just get it all out of our system. Cause, you oh, know. I didn't mean to. I was trying to unplug the PS3 okay. so she could press buttons. I'll stop pressing it. Let me see. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, done. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, everyone. Um, fuck it, I'm distracted already. Good one, Dylan. All right, Dylan. I know. We were like th- maybe a minute in, and I'm already doing something else. I'm already like chilling. No. This week, we are joined by me, your king, like always, ev- here all day, every day, 24-7, 365. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> what do you mean sometimes? I've been in every single podcast. I have the balls to show up to every podcast. Because you like are the partial owner of the podcast? Why would you not <laughs> show own, up? I own everything on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> like, guys, I'm going to work. You guys just do the podcast without me. Yep. We'll just let you into my apartment. Well, I mean, you guys can come over one time and then just like do the podcast while I do something else. Or we could just do Let's Plays while you do something else. That too. But the point is, all my shit's here. Even when yeah. you're here, that would be kind of... What? You sit here, do a podcast, and you're just, like, sitting there playing a game. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I would probably, <laughs> like, edit videos. That's what we were going to do for the, the Let's Plays, but we don't have enough people for the Let's Plays, besides with Kenny. We just have the people we have. Sorry. It's all I good. Forgot, I forgot Smack the, the table. This is a smack the table Well, no. <laughs> I, smack I for- the table. I forgot the phone was on. Vi- um, had that sound Let's on. all turn our phones on vibrate. Already did that. Done. Um... Yeah. Anyways, this week I am joined by... Why does no one ever get that cue? That's when you say your name. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Wasn't sure. It's all good. This week I am joined by... Nick. Heather. All right. Oh. Said it at the same time. <laughs> Nick and Heather. Good enough. We'll take it. They said it at the same time. Nice one. Jeez. And so much shit has happened this week. Or this previous week. I'm so zipped up happy. I don't even know. I just made up a word. That's how happy I am. Destiny came out. We're we'll talk about that. Talk about all the new iPhone announcements. That's going to be good. And, you know, the Yippee. company. Um, they released pictures of the Batmobile. The new Batman vs. Superman. Is it like, a bigger tank? It kind of looks like the Tumblr. Again, it is kind of stupid. It kind of looks like the Batmobile from the new game. Um, there's not much to talk about this, but Nintendo released a new 3DS, and it looks like a, re- a retro NES controller. Like an original. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. And whatever else I decide to fucking talk about, because it's my show. Well, there's no I, movies that came out that we've watched. There so. hasn't been anything. I want that there. Leave that there. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it was bothering me. Deal with it. It's just shining. In I notes. should really... No, wait. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Uh, what's up? So... Before I ask you what you guys are do, what you guys have been up to the last week, because hmm. I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> I downloaded this free assassin. Well, it's it's free now. It's an Assassin's Creed game. It's the like it's Assassin's Creed Pirates. It's based off like Assassin's Creed Four. It is the shit. It's almost like which one is this one? Assassin's Creed Pirates. That's what it's called, Pirates. It's it's for the phone. It's for well, oh. I, mean, I don't oh. know. Oh, yeah. About to say, I've never heard of that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's based off of Assassin's Creed Four, like Black Flag, because that was nothing but pirates. But pretty much. Uh, 
it some... plays a lot like the ship combat. I mean, obviously <laughs> dumbed down to being a phone, but it is really fun, and I like it, and that amused me, because I don't get amused by iPhone games a lot besides Flappy Bird. Which seems to be a fan favorite. What? I think Flappy Bird. I Everyone that. loves Flappy Bird. I didn't have the game, so it's terrible. I, never got I fucking it. hate it. Yeah. It's a terrible game. I like Flappy Bird. My favorite, uh, my all time favorite, like, iOS games were probably uh, Contagion, where you play this game where you, like, you're a disease and you have to, like, upgrade yourself and your goal is to kill everyone on the planet. That it's sounds pretty cool. Fun. And, like, there's ways to, like, transfer it. You know it what? By, like, game I can't air. wait. When Are you interrupting me? Yes, I interrupted well, you. Well, too bad. <laughs> and then, oh, besides Contagion, <laughs> there's uh, it's like a Kingdom game. I don't know, Kingdom Rush. It's like a tower defense game. Oh yeah, that's really good. That was originally though on PC, and then it went it ported to iPhone, and I thought it was the best. Anyways, what game do you want? What is DayZ? Man, I can't wait for that game. They released it for consoles. Where did you hear they were going to release this for No, console? you can look it up right now. They're going to release it for console. I might look it up right it's now. It's for PS4 and Xbox One. That sounds great. Like, though. it was on PC. It's on PC now. Yeah, it's on, I have it on PC. It's a fun game. Like it a is free, fun Like an open mm. world zombie apocalypse game. No, it's, like, it's very good. Something like a Skyrim type shit. Yeah, I definitely need to get that. Well, Halloween's coming up. So, like I said, I'll just get it on the Steam sale. The Steam Halloween. sale. I'm sure they'll have everything. Yeah. Daisy confirmed for PS4, according to Google. The PC survival horror game is coming to at least one console. The very <laughs> successful... I'm not going to read this whole story. The basic point is, you're right. It's coming to the PS4. When? Probably 2016. No, it's next year. They have 2016. Gonna, they said next 2016. year. 2016. No. It's it. It's it's 2015. You're interrupting 2016. Me. I'm going to throw this wall out at you. Stop <laughs> hitting the table. Hit I hit the table. <laughs> this is great. Anyways, um, <laughs> shit. Well, that's cool. I am too preoccupied on not having Destiny right now, and that's making me sad. Yeah, I know. I keep seeing people playing it. I'm like, man, I need to get this game. I didn't. I didn't want to trust the big hype over it because, like, when IGN and all the other companies do like reviews on that, and oh, I shouldn't really be calling out IGN, but anyways, <laughs> <laughs> internet. <laughs> places who will call out the game. Just say stuff. Big name websites, example IGN, uh, <laughs> that review games most of the time, if they're a big budget game, always get like, you know, a perfect score. Yeah, like So COD. that's why I just, exactly. Like, mm -hmm. I, there's so many like websites that give Call of Duty like fucking five out of five stars. And I'm just like, really? Like, the game's not that good. Like, you need to, you need to fucking pull it back. Um, anyways. It's the same every year. So I, I didn't want to trust their reviews. I wanted to wait until I knew a bunch of people who had it and see what they say. And everyone who has it says it's fucking amazing. And so now yeah, you like go out in space and go to other planets. I'm like, what? This is I a first-person shooter game. I know. It sounds great. and it sounds I, way better than Titanfall because the hype for that game didn't get all the hype yeah. that I heard. Titanfall's hit or miss. If you like online games, Titanfall's great. If you don't like online games, Titanfall's not well, great. Well, I heard like it was cool, but then people just... It was like, you know how Warhawk was? It was just strictly online. Mm -hmm. There was no campaign. That pissed a lot of people off. Mm -hmm. So. So, not a game that I would probably play. War. I don't play a lot of online games, so that kind of eliminates that for me, then, if there's no campaign. Not well, yeah, Titanfall doesn't have any. Yeah. But I don't know if Destiny does, but Destiny I do know does. it has a story. It has yeah. something going on. It might yeah. be an online story, but whatever. Co it has a I think no it has a, a campaign. <laughs> I know it has a campaign. That's what they were saying. I haven't played it, so. I, I really want to get it, but I know I'm getting a PS4 really soon, so I'm just waiting for it. I can't wait for the... But since I really they they push us back like twice. The Elder Scrolls Online game. I hope they do a better job. Mm, I don't I'm not, I don't really care. Well, I only like one MMO... And it's World of Warcraft, and you all know what's coming this November. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about that. I don't that. know. I think Bethesda will do a good job because they, like, for once, focus on their games compared to sometimes Blizzard. Not because you name names. It's Blizzard does that. Yeah. Wait, you're saying Blizzard doesn't focus on their games? Sometimes they don't. Sometimes you just go off the hook. It's whatever. I also kind of want to play Diablo, but that's another game I want to wait until Diablo it comes 3? out on my PS4. Yeah. Diablo, that's okay. Who is that? People like it. What? What? With who? When is that one coming out? Diablo. It's already out. It yeah. just released for the PS4. They just released oh, okay. the expansion pack, though. Reaper Souls. Yeah. I got it. 
When I pre-ordered that Mr. Pandaria, I got it for free. It was okay. But when I mean, you have no one to play with, it's kind of like defeats the purpose of playing the game. But that's why when we all get PS4s, you can play with me while Dungeon Dick. And I'm still going to sit there playing my PS2. <laughs> <laughs> well, just get a PS4. <laughs> you can join us in the fun. Sure, if I work enough to get more money yeah. to get <laughs> one. That is a true. At least it's not like the atrocious yeah. like the PS3s were when they came out. Mm-hmm. Because those were like $600. These are like 400 so it's like the price of this one. This is how much that one was. Damn. Mm. So, not that it matters to me, because I'm going to get it on next gen anyways, but that Shadows of Mordor game is, uh, what am I saying? Is It got delayed for PS3 and 360 until November 18th. That was supposed to come out at the end of this month. I don't know why they pushed it back. Honestly, it could be like what they did with Titanfall when they pushed Titanfall back because Titanfall was supposed to come out on the 360 and PS3 at the same time. But then it, um... What am I saying? It didn't. Uh, they pushed the 360 one back and everyone said the main reason they did that wasn't because they wanted to fix it. It was because they wanted everyone to get it on the Xbox One. Because they were just like, hey, buy it on this system first, and then maybe we'll let it on 360. Because that was when Xbox One was hurting for games. It still kind of is. But hey, oh. Most X- yeah, usually Xbox kind of does, though. No offense to Xbox. but Well, I mean, no. Xbox 360 was definitely uh, fine with games last generation. And you know what I want? I want another Gears of War. I'm up for another Gears of War. Oh, I couldn't ever get into those games. I, I didn't dislike them. I just... It just... It was... Like another shoe. It was like. Res- like Resistance? No, I didn't care for <laughs> Resistance. Resistance. I didn't care for yeah. Resistance either. Resistance 2 was alright. Resistance 1 and 3, I was just like, yeah. Friend, my friend was a big big fan over those games. They weren't that great. Yeah, they weren't that spectacular. I like Kill Zone 2 and 3. I those were awesome. Those were good. I didn't play the new one, Shadowfall or whatever it's called, but everyone says it's not that great. Yeah, people told me that it wasn't that great. It was just. Same as the other ones or some shit like that. Hey man, but Killzone two and three were were the. I liked Killzone three when they introduced like the multiplayer that had the storyline where like you could play missions and then depending on how well your character was doing, like he could be in a cutscene, and I was just like, that's fucking awesome! Like if you're the guy who like plays the like I don't know plants the bomb on whatever you had to plant it on, like the cutscene would activate and it would show your guy like planting the bomb and like making it explode and I'm just like that's me I'm doing that <laughs> there's my fucking tag but yeah uh Killzone was great and if you played the first one the first one was like first one was alright it was like it was so laggy like it was like and it wasn't for, even online yeah it was a early Playstation 2 game it was so mm-hmm. laggy as shit fuck it Playing that survival game where you had to like survive the hordes of the Hellgast, couldn't even do it because like you would turn and take like three, uh, take like three seconds before your <laughs> guy actually turned. Um, but then you were dead. So I played a little bit of Left 4 Dead too, as well recently. I liked Left 4 Dead. I really wanted to play a zombie game, but I didn't want to play. I didn't have any zombie games to play. I just wanted to that play other zombie. one that's on the um, Xbox, Dead Rising. Dead Rising. It's okay. It's all right. It's like not it, the type of game I want to play. I want to play like a dead. Like the first person dead, shooter, like Left 4 Dead, I was pretty cool. I have so many hours put into Left 4 Dead. It's pretty. Two or one? Which yeah. one do you like more? One. Yeah, one, one's a lot one. better. One. I, I had can't one. Stand that was my the first. Survivors in two. Like they just <sighs> like Coach has the personality of a wet paper bag. <laughs> 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 Did they make a DLC or See, something like that? A lot of on? people thought Coach was their favorite. I didn't like any of them. I didn't even like the 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 one like Southern white guy. Ellis. Uh, oh god, I'm just like this guy sucks. I like the. I just he reminds me of too many people. I like the biker guy in the first one. From. Oh, see, I like Francis. I like Francis. I like Bill in the first one. He was my favorite. Yeah, they made a DLC place. when he got killed or something like that. What? Pretty you sure. didn't. Oh, okay. Spoiler See, alert. This is what I. Okay. Was I a, didn't play much of It was a DLC Black where he got two. like he got killed in it. Like yeah, it I think it was back in 2010. What Valve did was, you know, they had the original four campaigns that you could play for Left 4 Dead, 
And then they were leading up to the new campaign you could play called, oh my god, what was it called? That's a weird name. Oh my god, what was it called? <laughs> oh no, wait. Oh, I forgot. Anyway. It's a cool so, campaign. <laughs> yeah, oh they god. released like a comic from each character's perspective about like how they met, where they were before the outbreak, and it led up to that campaign released, and then it was like a whole storyline. Yeah. Which also connected with Left 4 Dead 2 when you saw the Left 4 Dead 1 survivors in the game. So I got excited about that. And Bill dies in that. Yep. This is well, he can fuck off. Yep. No! I like him. <laughs> I like Bill too. Why does he gotta die? Yeah. Well, the sacrifice! Good. That was the call. That was yeah. what it's called. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's See, I knew something yeah. I can't do with his death. Jeez. Is he the only one who dies, or do they all die? No, it was just him, I think. How they does he all die? escape. Oh, mm. uh, more spoilers. More spoilers. It doesn't matter at this point. I he, know um, he did. Uh, what was it? They were getting away, and he like held off or got killed yeah, by zombies. Yeah, they were going to Key West because it was an island, which is smart. You just go to an island, kill the zombies, and you're good, which is what their plan was. And then there are a ton of tanks, and Bill sacrificed himself. How many like tanks th were there? Like two? Because usually when there's two tanks, you're fucked. No, I thought there's like two tanks and like a swarm of zombies yeah, after him or something like that. And he just... It's an intense campaign. You know, they did that in Dawn of the Dead. They went to an island, but I think that failed. That's because there was too many zombies on that island. Not to mention that their boat was like pretty much destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> well, they ran too. Well, they ran in Dawn of the Dead as well. Um. So... Shit. Damn, now I'm gonna have to go back and play these games, but I'd rather play them on console. I don't want to spend the money on Left 4 Dead, too. I don't want to spend the money on Left 4 Dead. To tell you, to tell you the truth, I had Left 4 Dead was the only game I actually got for the GX60, and then my. And then you're what? And then uh, my friend Cody left uh, had Left 4 Dead 2, and he left it at my house, and he was like, oh, by the way, you can have that game. I want it. I was like, cool. I only played it once. I like the. First Left 4 Dead's maps and characters more. I love the airport mission. Oh my god, that was so good. Dead air. That's yeah, my, that's my favorite one. That's so good. When you're going through like the office cubicles in that one, and then like then the whole like the uh, second one, you go to the underpass. I think that's where you start off. Like there's a there's a car. The, the first part you start off there's a car with a trunk that has guns in it, and it's like you go on an underpass and it goes to like this forest area. Yes. I what that's called. That was another good one. And then the other one where you have to uh, go to the farm. I think it was the last level. I just like in the airport one where uh, at the, airport the, one the when you're in the airport itself. And then obviously you leave and you have to fill the plane and get out. Yeah, yeah. Left 4 Dead 2. Like I said, I didn't really like the characters. So of course I play as the first characters. And I switched all their voices and everything in Left 4 Dead 2. mod and everything, yeah. Yeah, and then there's one mod I did. I replaced the four survivors with like four characters from Half-Life. And then I replace oh. all the zombies with head crab zombies, and then oh, I play wow. in the like the Ravenholm map, and I'm like, oh, what game it's am funny I playing? It's fun when you mod yeah. games like that. It's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, you can make them completely different games. Like, I, used I, remember that, I used to do that in Oblivion all the time. The biggest game, uh, biggest mod everyone used to talk about in Grand Theft Auto 4 was the Iron Man mod. And then, hmm. like, you're no longer playing Grand Theft Auto. You're playing an Iron Man video game. Yeah, it was the same thing around. with Oblivion because I used to do the uh, the rebuild Kvatch mod, which always screwed up. Because, like, you would go inside the building and be, like, all Kvatch. Be rebuilding and you would leave. Like, the door would disappear in the hole. Like, you would see it inside Kvatch and it would just be nothing there. Besides the walls. <laughs> I always screwed up. And if the mod didn't load up right, like, it would have, like, an exclamation point. Telling you that the mod is, like, an error. So, like, he would just pull out this weapon. That was a mod. It would just be an exclamation point. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> cool, cool guy. Uh, cool weapon. You wouldn't slice anybody with it. The fuck? Um, the mods are great, and I don't know, I'm just zombies. I want to do zombie games. That's why Might DZ, be, man, DZ. But that's not mm. right now. I well, need something right now. That sucks to you. It does. It really does. Don't buy Left 4 Dead. It's like five bucks. It's twenty dollars. Is this yeah, still twenty? Yeah, well, like usually during the sales, you can get like the first two for like. I think I paid five dollars. I already for have one two, two on my PC, but I just I don't like PC. I like not consoles, but that's oh, just me. Yeah. So I want to go buy it on Xbox 360, and it's still $20. Although it is still $20 on Steam, but Steam has sales, and they're probably going to have a sale on Left 4 Dead. I know last year they gave away Left 4 Dead 2 for free, like yeah. for Christmas, and that kind of like broke Steam for a day. 
which was funny. Broke Steam. Yep. Yeah, Steam was not working for like an entire day because they're like, sorry, everyone tried to download this free fucking Left 4 Dead game. Yeah, I made my sister get an account and get it just because. I mean, good. Steam's good. I like Steam. Steam, that's where I get all my fucking games when they all go to be like $3. But then I realize I don't like playing shit on PC. Like farming <laughs> Besides yeah. RTSs. I'll play RTSs on PC because well, it, it's, 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 not, it's, it's weird not on a console controller. Game. I, don't uh, I started RTSs on console. I started with Aliens vs. Predator Extinction. That, that was, was an RTS? That was an I RTS, that and it was very weird. And Halo Wars was another like RTS, but that game was not great. <sighs> Halo Wars wasn't a good RTS. I liked it because it was Halo, but the RTS itself was rock, paper, scissors. So that was really bad about it, because it was just and like... And plus, you like, didn't really have to build an army to win. <laughs> yeah. It was just vehicles take out people, people take out aircrafts, aircrafts take out vehicles. And, like, you know, that was it. And, like, I was like, damn, and that's Scare cool. up takes out everything, because that's what, pretty much what it did. Except for vehicles. Yeah, but you can only have two scarabs at a time. But the thing with that There's is... so much if minerals. You, if, yeah, if you took out the fucking scarabs... Um, what am I saying? Oh, if you killed the person's scarab, like, they had such a big chunk of their army now that they sucked. There's only two armies you could pick for, the marines or the elites. I don't think you could pick the... Yeah, you could just it. pick... Yeah. No brutes, no flood. No, there were brutes. There was well, no they're... flood. You could pick the Covenant or the, the Marines. And the Marines had three... Each each faction had three different heroes. Uh, two, there was the two guys and the girl for the humans. And then there was the like the chieftain alien, the Arbiter at the time. Not the Arbiter that we know and love. And the brute guy who wasn't even in the campaign. So it was just like, who is this motherfucker? <laughs> But, uh, I mean, I liked it a lot because it was Halo, but it was just way too simple of an RTS. My favorite RTS of all time is still uh, Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle-Earth 2. I played that. It was pretty good. I don't know. I liked Age of Empires a lot. Empire Earth. Those That's were really good. good. Uh, Starcraft was probably, probably the hardest I've ever played. Starcraft 2. Yeah. Um, you have to think offensively when you play this that This isn't game. really an RTS, but you play Tropico. Mm. I love mm -hmm. Tropico. Oh, well, fuck you guys. <laughs> Play Tropico. You basically are like Fidel Castro ruling over Cuba in l back in like the 1980s or whatever, and you have to build like the best Cuba. But it's not Cuba. The place is called Tropico, and you're not Fidel Castro, but you're like the equivalent of Fidel Castro. But it's cool. All right. Yeah. I like it. And it has a cool thing, like a cool theme song. It's really easy to get stuck in your fucking head. Tropico, everyone, go buy it. Go buy Tropico. Shit. So, iPhone 6 and 6 Plus and the iWatch coming soon. You guys excited? Yippee, I don't even have an iPhone. But now you can get one. Well, you can get a 6 or a 6 Plus. Does T-Mobile sell things. iPhones? Tell you what, I'll talk to T-Mobile. They know me. Oh, yeah. I'm the king. They'll let me do it. They'll be like, all right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't. Think I don't right have there. Apple okay. stuff. Not really that excited. It's just, just it's just another iPhone. It's just, just another fuck iPhone. It. There's it's nothing different between. Honestly, it's just more shit. like so I have like a better camera, so it gets a new phone. Has a more clearer camera because you want to take better pictures. Well, I use the camera a lot on my phone. That's why I got my iPhone five. But I don't have a plan on switching it anytime soon. It works perfectly and it does what it has to. So I, I'll just keep it. Plus, I think I'm hitting the point where I'm getting done with iPhones and we'll start to move on to something else. Like, I don't know. I'm not going to start branding here. I've <coughs> never had an iPhone. I've only had one smartphone. This thing. I have one smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sound like kids talking about your phone. Like, I got one. Or, like, I your got phones one. are good. Well, I, got I one actually just phone. got it, like. Hey. Over summer, so it wasn't that you long ago. That the, kid, the kid, the kids that are like in fifth grade are having smartphones <laughs> and shit like that. And I didn't get a phone until I was in like middle fifth school. I didn't get a phone until eighth grade. Okay, yeah, me too. Well, it was just I was like, in fifth grade, and it was like, just a really shitty phone. And it was like, this is only for emergencies. Yep. I didn't get a decent phone until like end of eighth grade, beginning of ninth grade. 
so yeah. summer i guess in between the both of kids them. now they have like iphones and shit like shit wow. man like it's i'm a, i can tell you stories i used to work at a fucking daycare kids had like fucking tablets and ipads and shit what? and i'm like fuck you i don't have this stuff <laughs> you're like seven you're gonna break it and they all broke it and their parents didn't care because they would just buy them a new one. Oh my gosh yeah. 500 dollars tablet one of the tablet. one of the schools i worked at was very like um uh, like prestigious I guess you would say it wasn't a private school but they like to think they're a private school and it was like in this really like hoity-toity town and like all the parents had fucking loads of money so they all had like Rich expensive people. ass shit yeah I was hanging out with the poor kids I was like yo me and you like we're, in, this, we're, in, we're in the same boat <laughs> Hell, the poor kids. And yet all the other kids like looked down on them because they didn't have this shit, or they thought it was weird when they didn't have like five iPods. And I'm like, these are normal kids. They're not like they're not like you jackasses who just get whatever you cry about. I, I feel like know. one thing from Back to the Future came true. You remember the part when Marty goes into like the cafe eighties mm-hmm. in the third one, and you have like little Elijah Wood and that little kid when they're trying to figure out the arcade game. Yeah, like, that's what? A baby's you have to toy. use your hands? That's a baby's toy. Yeah, basically. I'm like, oh my god, I better see. True. I better see hoverboard in 2015. I yeah, just want a flying you car. Have a few more months. You know what? Let's Teleportation. Go. I'd rather have that. I want to go back to the future. I just need the flux capacitor and the You want to go back to the future. You've been there already. I want to go back to the past. <laughs> you wanna go, why even go to the past? <laughs> 1887. See what's going on. Uh, <laughs> hell, you want to go to 1887? That's... Just, what? No. I want to see a real dinosaur, so I'd probably go back a long time ago and get eaten i don't care how many people would be able to say that how many people would be able to say they got eaten by a dinosaur probably no one because no, they'd all be dead I'm, yeah i know just bring back one <laughs> bring back one with you oh i got it. it's, it's cute it's <laughs> it very violent <laughs> yeah well so. wait till the day they reboot that movie yeah. It's oh no, no! I swear, if they do, I'd called, be. It's called Back to the Millennia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This well, we're gonna go back to the year three thousand. What else happened this week? Did you guys do anything exciting this week? Nope. Play any exciting games? No, your lives are boring. Yep. That's great. I'm just trying to like fucking. No games came out that really caught well with Destiny, but I'm not gonna buy that yet. So. We don't have, oh, we're just gonna fucking yawn. We don't have um. Well, we have PS3s. We can play Destiny on PS3, but I'm not gonna buy it and then rebuy it like f- three weeks later. Wish they had like set up like Final Fantasy 14, dude. Because if, if you buy Final Fantasy 14 on PS3, you just get it for free on the PS4. Yeah, but that's an MMO. That's yeah. not like a Final Fantasy. I only play one MMO. How many times do we have to have this conversation? It's you keep f- on suggesting these MMOs, and I'm like, is it World of Warcraft? Then shut up. Oh, you're one of those. Just quiet. I Let's played it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. It wasn't. I didn't care about the lore. I didn't care about the characters. Oh, it, it, tell you what, we can play RuneScape. How about that, dude? I didn't <sighs> play RuneScape. Oh I, I just not played that a lot. Fuck it. We're not. We're not playing RuneScape. I'll tell you what. I did play. It's an alright game, but it's better than Final Fantasy thirteen, twelve, and eleven. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are those Final Fantasies? Isn't bad. It's not Ele- 13, though. 11, 12, 13? No, I thought all of them were pretty shitty. Damn, 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 damn. Wasn't, ten, wasn't, ten. wasn't 11 also an MMO? No, it was had an MMO style, but you were still... St- like It wasn't like 14 where you created a character. Like There was a main character. Hello? That was weird. Yeah, it was. Good? Yeah, I'm all good. I just popped it was a It was a main character. It My just headphones. Had like a, Continue. It like, had like an open world type style. But Final Fantasy X was okay, and other than that... You're okay. I know I yeah. am. <laughs> I just want to play zombie games. That's all. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have systems to play it. I don't cool. know what games to play on my computer. I really want to play Seven Days to Survive, but I want to do that with a group of people. And I don't even know if my PC is going to run it. Plus, I don't got money. I also want to play The Island. Or no. I think that's what it's called. Dead Island? Dead Island? No, 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 no. That's a fun Fuck game. that game. No, Dead Island sucked. Yeah, it wasn't that good. No. Um, it was all right at some point. Dubadop dub. It's a game. It's new on Steam. It's still. It's like an alpha. It's like fourteen dollars. You cl- you crash on this island and there's like mutated cannibals, and they're c- trying Ooh. to kill you. And you have to build like a fort and find your son. And yeah. No, I never played it. Never even heard of it. Well, because it's still new. I like the Walking Dead game. 
The yeah, but that's not like one. zombie action game. Yeah, it's very. Unless you're talking about Survival Instincts, in which yeah, case that yeah. game's terrible. Not not the Telltale no. one. You're, are you talking about? I'm talking about Telltale one. Okay, okay, good. That one's good. I that was going to say, I like that one when it comes to no, Survival. No, 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 no. Survival Instinct was that shitty one where you played as Merle and Daryl. No, I didn't even I didn't even that. that. <laughs> no. Merle, Merle I heard such Daryl. bad things. But no, I watched like, uh, like a one-minute gameplay of it, and it looked... I was it like, had oh, like that's PS2 enough. graphics, <laughs> and I was just like, the fuck is this shit? So that's it. Anyways, so no zombie games are coming out. I do like that zombie. Uh, I do like that lit Walking Dead game. I couldn't think of the name for a second. But it's not like an action game, and I still need to finish season one. I got season two, and I played the first episode, and all of a sudden I logged on. And I was like, whoa, there are more episodes out. When did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> Well, they come out like once that. every like two, three months, or yeah, whatever. It just finished. Now. They've been all out. Yeah, they're coming out with like the season two bundle soon. Which that show comes back on. Also, another show that Legend of Korra just ended. Now it's coming back on like next week. Oh, book four, but it's oh. only on Nick. dot com. They oh, well completely then that's took why. it off. They completely took it off of um, Nickelodeon. Not surprised. That's why. Well, because they, they brushed it. They rushed the third season. You saw the third season? There was no promos for it. Yeah. They just said Legend of Korra this Friday. That was it. They didn't hype you up or anything. So they, they pushed it out too quickly. That's why the first day the season over had three episodes. Well, fuck them. Like, that's why they were just pushing that shit out. And in the last five episodes, they uh, put on um, Nick.com. You had to watch them on the internet, basically. Or watch cartoons online. Which is why I watched it, finished it. Yeah, no, I do know that. Like, they put yeah. the season finale of season three on the yeah, internet. Yeah, they, they, they just they just put it out because Nickelodeon had to drop it because they just they pushed it too far. Like, they rushed it. They said it wasn't making enough money. That's well, a good whatever. show. It's because everyone really needs to pay attention to the high school drama shows because it's so original and creative. It and, is. You know, that's what... Switch. Yeah, like the new reboot of Saved by the Bell. I just <laughs> so want to watch that. They they have a reboot of Saved by the Bell. No, it's like a, a it's like a uh a, like a sequel. Like they're like adults, but they have like their kids in there now. I don't know what it is, but I've seen Girl Meets World. No, that's that's uh, that, that that's a sequel basically too. But no, this one's like it's like Super Saved by the Bell or some shit like that. Like it's a newer Saved by the Bell, just less eighties cliches. Like the original one was, but it had bullets, and all they do is so carry boombox. <laughs> I put on, like, whenever I go home and my sisters have one of those channels on, like, Disney or Nickelodeon, I have no idea what station it is anymore because they're all the same. I'm like, I don't even know what this is. The only thing I watch on Nickelodeon now is still SpongeBob. It's alright, I still watch SpongeBob. I like SpongeBob. SpongeBob. I like still SpongeBob. Funny. SpongeBob's still funny. Fuck it. But other than that, like I see what you're saying, like the the, the iCarly and all that shit. Well, they're gone, but they still. I like Ned's like, Declassified. That was that a was funny actually show. pretty funny. I stopped watching it. Ned's Declassified there. School Survival. I only watched like a few episodes. They actually had like an ending to that. There show. was like random. There was like random episodes where Matt Hoffman appeared. It was just like Matt Hoffman, and he'd just like do a trick and he'd leave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like he would like bike inside the school, and then they had like that Sam and Cat, which got canceled because of like money issues or some shit. What? That show called Sam and Cat, what the hell it was? Like, they were s- they were a whole hyping up of that show. Wait, like, what channel was that on? Uh, was Nick- was Nickelodeon? What was it about? No idea. It had you have a, no clue. Never heard of it. I hyped it up so much. It was the girl from My Carly, the blonde girl. And then there was Sam. Yeah, and then Ariana Grande. She was in it. Cat, obviously. And then it was like, there's just them two, basically. Like, they would live together and they were trying to, like, find, I don't know what the whole thing was about that they hyped it oh, up so much okay yeah i think i remember hearing about that now and they're like oh season yeah. two comes out and then season three you never heard anything about it because like it got canceled right after that because of like i guess they didn't get along i guess well, <laughs> no one of them was getting more money than the other and the other one just got pissed oh wow <laughs> you know how they don't you know how they are the trial career doesn't last very long you no know. they just announced finally because it took forever and a, like a, a Smaug action figure. Really? I'm so excited. Fine. A what? Dude. Smaug from Lord of the Rings. The sh- oh. Well, it's from The Hobbit, actually. Sorry, I haven't seen those movies. It's because you're well, I haven't sick. seen The Hobbit. I've seen Lord of the Rings. You suck. 
Have you seen all the Lord of the Rings or just the first one? No, I've seen all of them. We oh, have okay. all of them. Oh, okay. Don't you don't you like them? Don't next to me without looking, watching the Hobbit. I know. <laughs> don't even dare start. Dylan, no, don't even start. What? Don't even start. You, I already told you, no, you no. suck. You, you say you don't sit next to me. There's a lot of things you don't like that I love. and you just Like don't. what? No, I'm not even going to name it. I'm Come not, on, I'm name a few. Me. Name a few. No, don't even start me on that. Tell me, what are some movies that you love or some series that you love that I don't like? Come on. <laughs> We're getting this off the no, chest. No, Come no, on. I'm not saying shit. This is the next segment. Come no, on. No, it ain't no segment. You just made it a segment. <laughs> yeah, we just did. Now, come no, on. No, no. Continue on when we No, talking. not until you tell me what no. something... Come on. There's always something you... There's, I know what? There's, there's a lot of things you like. What? Or, or, name one. <laughs> I don't even have to mention movies. I can mention just games in general. Anything. Okay, name a game. All right. I don't like... The de- new Devil May Cry, you bit my head off about that. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is why I bit your head off about that. Because you said you never played it. I don't it. like reboots. But you said you never played it. it. Don't knock my... it till you try it. It doesn't catch my attention. At I least when I see a shitty movie and I say, that's a shitty movie, I saw it. I can say that. Well, you never played the new Devil May Cry. I thought the same thing. I was like, this game doesn't look like it's going to be great. It's amazing. You should play it. I'm telling you, you'd like it. Sorry. Not a fan. You don't! You didn't play it! You can't be a fan because you never played it! You can't not be a fan. You're just a you're just a dick. That's what you're being right now. Oh, yeah. Because oh, you yeah. can't... Just play it. Play it, then beat it, and then if you say it sucks, I'll be like, at least you beat the game. I couldn't bring myself to bring... See, well, the movies you saw, I haven't seen Hercules or... What are the other movies you just saw? But I wasn't going to spend $10 on half the movies you saw. So Okay, I can understand. Well, there's a difference between not spending money on something and not saying something, not trying something. So I can understand you saying, like, hey, I didn't want to go spend money to see Hercules. Like, I get well, that. No, there I, are movies out there where I, even if I do think they're good, I'll be like, eh, I don't want to spend the money on that. But, you know, if you don't say Hercules is a bad movie if you've never seen it. I can understand I not wanting to movie. pay to see it. I'm not, I know, I'm just saying. Like, I'm using it as, as an example. I can understand not wanting to pay to see it, but if you see it on TV one day after you watch, then be like, that movie sucked or that movie is great. I understand you don't want to pay money to see to play Devil May Cry. Stop shaking the table. I know. You keep making the mics flip over. <laughs> I understand you don't want to pay money to play Devil May Cry, but don't say it's a shitty game. You never played it. Oh, I'm sorry. You could just be like, I, I never played it. It doesn't it doesn't interest me. But don't be like, the game sucks because I never played it. <laughs> All right? And you never even mentioned a thing that you like that no, I don't I'll, like. I'll eventually get something. All right, well, we'll come back to it. I know there's something in there, but we'll, I'll get something. We're going to come back to Trust it. Trust me, I know. Jeez. <laughs> just because I've never seen The Hobbit don't mean shit. Well, you never said you didn't like The Hobbit. You just said you didn't like The Lord of the Rings. But, no, I mean, I just, it's, it's kind of the same. So I, 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 can, I can go with that one. I couldn't, well, yeah, I couldn't sit there and watch it all. Because a lot of the time, it was just... Sorry, it was just a lot of... Uh, it just wasn't doing anything. I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to sit here for another three hours and watch this movie. Well, the first Lord of the Rings is slow. But... Meanwhile, I'm still waiting for the now, what do you think about this version. <laughs> you haven't seen the first one extended or the no the Hobbit extended. Oh yeah, can't wait. Yeah, I, I keep sit on there like and watch it for hours. I know people I like, can't get like ten minutes into it, but well, I know people who like like them, but they can't do like one sitting in the movie, and I'm like, why? Like once it's on, I can't stop watching it, and it's yeah. a great way to kill yeah, three hours. Just, some people can't do that, I guess. Yeah. They are very long movies, but then again, so are other movies. Fucking people go nuts over the fucking oh. Transformers series. Those movies are three hours sometimes. Well, those movies kind of suck. And yet people still love them. Well, yeah. I saw Transformers 4. I can say it's terrible. I wasn't going to bring myself. I thought the other two were terrible. <laughs> well, the first Transformers was decent, and the third Transformers was all right. Two was terrible, and four was just god-awful. Now, the, the Star Wars movies, the first three... Are great. Well, yeah, okay. You like those movies. I despise those movies. When you say first three, you mean four, five, and six? Yes. Yeah, no, so no, when no, you say the first three, I thought three. of four, five, and six. First, second, third. The, the, the episodes one, two, and three. Yeah. I didn't like episode one. The episode of two was all right. Episode three was amazing. I don't mind that you don't like one or two because a lot of people don't like them, and I can understand why a lot of people don't like them. I don't get why you don't like three. Three is a fucking masterpiece. I just never liked three. It's so good because you never saw it. 
No, I have the movie. <laughs> Why would I never see it? <laughs> I saw the movie in theaters. I can't trust you. It's a anymore. Star Wars movie. I'm gonna see it. Yeah, the first one was shitty. You, you can even ask the guy who played Anakin in the first one. He said that movie ruined my career. He did say that. <laughs> did he really? Yeah. Oh my god. During a football, one of the football games, he, they interviewed him. He's like, "Yeah, I can't do this anymore." And he was referring to Episode One. Did you hear the like, Deadpool movie got delayed? Yeah, it's, it's been getting delayed all the goddamn time. So that's fucked. Fuck it. I just didn't like. I don't know, Hayden Christian should whine too damn much. He got real. No, nervous. he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. He had to become a dark lord. By whining a lot? He didn't whine a lot. Yes, Why do you think he whined? He had one scene where he cried. Because his wife was going to die. <laughs> Why don't you get married and have your wife die and you tell me how you feel? He killed his wife. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to be fine. It's all right. <laughs> he killed his wife. Everything's going to be great. Like, I bet you he'd fucking cry. He killed his own After wife. After this, you're going to go get married and I'm going to kill your fucking wife and you tell me how you feel. Will never happen. <laughs> oh my it's going to happen after this. This is what we're doing after the podcast. He killed his wife. That's his own goddamn fault. He was all pissed because Obi-Wan was there. He didn't kill his wife. She died of a broken heart. Yeah, because that works. It, it did, <laughs> obviously. That's how she fucking died. Three was great. You suck. See, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Two things we disagree on. I just don't, you know, doesn't matter what my opinion is. All right. I see well, I mean, you did. I like the music in three. You did. Oh, the music uh, is awesome. Oh it's John Williams. You did watch three, though, so I'll give you that. I watched all, yeah, I watched all of them. Play I even watched car. the fucking, you know, revamped version of six where they has Hayden Christian at the end of it. And Oh yeah. There's even ones where that. they just people uh post Mace Windu in there and shit. And it's like why is he here? He didn't do shit. Well, well, I think that's Samuel that's, Jackson, so yeah. he doesn't have He has to a purple do. lightsaber. He just sits there and says, I'm Samuel Jackson. Jedi. That's right. That's right. Jedi. That gives him the right <laughs> I did like the Star second. Wars. I like the battle scene in the second one when they all the Jedi's came out. That's probably my favorite scene, in the whole oh, second movie, great. where Mace Windu came out, pulled a lightsaber, and says like some crap, and then they start fighting. I he just kills like Camino. Yeah, and I'm he kills Jango Fett. I like Jango. I like Jango. I like Boba. Oh, yeah. Of course, I we think need Boba. a new Star Wars game coming okay. soon. Okay, so when Boba Fett fell into the pit, what do you guys think? Do you think he survived? This is a big argument I have with my friends because well, the through into the according to the story, when you fall into that, you like get digested for like a thousand years or some shit like that. Yes. I think, I don't know. I think he would survive. But see, I read the book because I'm a s nerdy reader, and he actually flew out in his jetpack and he blasted it, didn't and he? he survived. Yeah. There were people I know that just completely refused that, and they keep telling me no. He's well, because they didn't read the book; they just watched the movie. But the reason why they do that is because Lucas Entertainment themselves came out and said that all the extended fiction that has been released so far does not count. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but it's just cool to. Think so just I could fun. understand beforehand where they there was a debate, but now it's just kind of like you know, Mr. Lucas was just like, "Fuck that, mm -hmm. no." So it's just basically what we saw in the movies. I mean, hey man, who could? Uh, okay. It's thirty years after uh, in seven. It's gonna be thirty years after six. So I mean, he's got like a few more years, and he'll be done digesting anyways. He's just like halfway done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they said a thousand years. So yeah, it's thousand so minus thirty. He's only got like a few more, like ten, maybe twelve. Uh, I just hope the next one will be satisfying. I think it will be great. J.J. We'll Abrams, come on, man. The Star Treks were amazing. The new ones? Yeah. I didn't like the new ones. Did you see the new yeah. ones? Okay. My brother okay. I got to ask that question now <laughs> with everything. My brother convinced me to see the new ones. Oh, uh, they're good. No, I'm sorry. I did not like the new one. Why didn't you like the new I ones? I just didn't like the other. It's not like the characters. I just couldn't get into that one. I didn't see the second one, so I can't really well, say. Well, I saw the first one. It was okay, but and then the second one was just, well, judging from Kyle's word, he was like, oh, it's terrible. You got to watch it. I was like, sure. I got red boxed it. And I was like, yeah, this isn't that great. Good thing I'll never buy this again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw, like, the beginning of this second one. I liked it. I feel like that show is just so massive. I don't know where to start. And Star Trek, the like, show. Random parts I don't from watch different it. Times and I'm not a big fan of the Star Trek show. 
I don't know why. Maybe because it's the sucks. next generation. I think that's what it's called. Either what? Well, no, because they had the original, then they had Star Trek Voyager and our n- next generation. Or I don't know. There's probably some Trekkie out there right now listening to this that's like, oh my god, the the the, the, the how it goes. But I mean, <laughs> I don't care about original Star Trek. I'm sorry, it's not as interesting. It's very. But I don't. Retro. Yeah, like I said, I don't like most reboots. Besides Dread, Dread was good. Dread was good. But RoboCop, no. Well, yeah, that movie was terrible. Robo-Cop. Did you see it? Oh yeah. Okay. Matt, <laughs> you stop saying that. Well, I don't know Shut if up. you see these things no. or not. I told you I saw that movie a while back. My <laughs> friend Matt fucking uh, found that movie. He was like, "Here, watch this. It's real bad." <laughs> <laughs> Well, sometimes I do watch a movie if someone tells me it's real bad. I'm like, yeah, I'll watch a bad movie. Who the fuck cares? Why would you override Directive 3? That makes sense. I'll just hack. <laughs> I think that's what I spent. Now that I think about it, like, I didn't even bring myself to I watch more Turtle. bad movies than anything now. I didn't see myself to see uh, Turtles. I wanted to go see it with you guys, but yeah. they had car trouble. I don't want to. I don't really care it's to see It's bad. That one. It's a bad but movie. But I didn't want to yeah. see it. It's a. It's now a my brother posted on Facebook. He's like trying to ruin some childhood memories. <laughs> it's <was just> funny. <laughs> he goes, um, he goes, uh, Tim Burton did not direct Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, and he said like Final Fantasy VI is better than Final Fantasy VII, and oh yeah, Leo, Leonardo is better than Raphael, to his knowledge. This is his opinions and facts, and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the anime movie, is better than Turtles Two, A Secret of Views, which I can agree on because that was a pretty good movie. Which one? The one the that anime came out? movie? The one was right after it was like okay. they fight the uh, that guy who like never aged. Or yeah, was. that was movie like, was alright. Nah, I like that movie. It was it was like a more darker version, but like everybody liked Wrath. I liked Leo. What the big metal turtle? <laughs> That's Wrath. Yeah, everybody yeah. liked Wrath because he was like. Oh, My favorite is Michelangelo. Yeah, like, I, I had to. Like Michelangelo and Leonardo. I had to, yeah. Everyone likes Leonardo or Wrath. Not Leonardo. Uh, Donatello. Hello. Why? Because he's a nerd. I love Donatello. He's weird in this movie. And the new one we're talking about. I haven't seen any movies since fucking Turtles. Does he have like a big fetish over April or something like that? that Michelangelo one? does in That's this one. Cool. Yeah, because they're doing like the cartoon. Yeah. Well, actually, in the cartoon, Donatello had a... I'm not going to get back into the new Turtles movie. Like, if the, you want to ca- know about it, go fucking the see The cartoon it. had a... Uh, Donatello had a fetish for April. I like... You know, Secret of the Ooze is a good, it's a, it's a, it's a good, but it's a stupid movie. It's just, the jokes are corny, but it's funny to watch. Because, you know, conveniently, there's a Vanilla Ice concert next to the bad, the bad guy's hideout. And like, that, that's funny. Yeah. Like, it's, it's stupid. It's like, okay, but it's See, funny. I don't really like anything Michael Bay has done, and I don't like Megan Fox. So just combining yeah, them. Yeah, that's true. And then redoing Turtles. I was just like, I'm going to pretend that doesn't exist. But that's just me. I mean, I'm sure there were people that liked it. Yeah, Good like ten year olds. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. because yeah, they yeah. like Transformers, which just had explosions. That's all Michael Bay's good for. Yeah, that's why I didn't. I watched one Transformers movie, and that's when he I brought was, fire in space in Armageddon. <laughs> but that was Jerry Bruckheimer too. And that movie wasn't terrible. It was had its moments, but it was actually pretty good. But Michael Bay put fire in space, and it's like, oh, okay, so. <laughs> Fire in space. Yeah, when the shuttle crashed, it's like wind blowing, and then there's like a big flame. I'm like, oh yeah, that that's possible. Maybe it's the at- maybe it's the atmosphere. No, not in the co- not in the asteroid. <laughs> yeah, the asteroid has its own atmosphere. I don't think so. Yeah, it has its own gravity pull, but not in that uh, atmosphere. <laughs> Just fucking, that's gonna be great on the audio. Uh, your gravity sphere. I don't see gravity sphere. I see gravity sphere. You said sphere because you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Sure. You hate things before you even try them. I hate some things before I try them. I'm sorry. That's that's dick. That's what a dick does. I don't like reboots. I'm sorry. I never Just play reboots. the game. No. I'm telling you, you'll like it. You'll like it. I know you'll like it if you like Devil May Cry. It's a fun Devil May Cry game. Well, I'm a big fan of Devil May Cry. Exactly. So you'll like it. So you say. All Devil May Cry fans that I talked to who played that game liked it. Okay. Play it then. I'll play it whenever I want to I'll let you play borrow it. my copy. But so far, it's been the three. Three's been my favorite. Three's really good. I I, I debate between three and four. Two's I, terrible. I didn't own four. My friend Matt owned it. No, two was terrible. My friend Matt owned it. It was a good game. I liked Nero, but that was just Nero me. was cool. 
Well, he was like, yeah. Like, well, they confirmed later on he was like the son of Virgil or something like that. Something like that. If you read the, like the little manga that came that came with something else. Oh yeah, cause I do that. That's what they were saying, but like, no, I like the third one just because like they introduced Virgil and Dante. Virgil had, like, was cool. Funny ass attitude. Well, Virgil was in the first move, first game as well. Yeah, he, like, was ne- uh, he was Demon. He was Nello Angelo. Nello Angelo, Michael Angelo. Shit. Anyways, plus, if you play the, if you play the, uh, if you get I the alternate outfits for in three for Virgil, I think the uh, one of them is uh, if, if you use your demon form, it's the first. That's the demon form from the first game. Ooh. But it's like you know, I've like, played. You're me I know, right? I'm <laughs> doing it it's again. It's impossible to get that outfit because it'd be like on the hardest difficulty, which is where you die in one shot. Oh, I love that. You literally have to master every combo, like. It, so the enemy yeah, because they have the they, the combo they have the difficulty yeah. heaven and hell where everyone dies in one hit, including you. But like all the enemies die, so like you can just go through that mission shooting your gun at people. But they also have the one hell and hell where the where the I thought that was called Dante must die mode. No, they have they have Dante must die. Then they have heaven and hell and hell and hell <laughs> and in hell and hell. Uh, you die in one hit, but all the enemies are normal, and it's just like oh that's cool. Yeah, you have to, like, master the combos. Like, you have to master, master every combo that you've earned. That means when you fight the bosses, like, Agni and Rura, you just might as well spam that combo and just sit there. Or fight Virgil. Yeah. Dicks. I don't know. I'm just moving on. That was my segue. <laughs> wait, till, wait till they reboot Metal Gear Solid. We'll never do that. Well, Hideo Kojima will never do that. Now, what did you think of Rising? They I should. did play Rising. I played the demo of that game. I played the demo of Rising 2. I just thought it was Ninja Gaiden. And, and I, I thought like it was like it. a Devil May Cry. I was like, oh, I'm basically playing Devil May Cry. Yeah, again. basically. No, with no, robots and stuff. No of... tactical espionage action like it has written on the other ones. Well, no. This one's tactical lightning bolt action. Yeah, pretty much. Well, it wasn't made by... It was made by the guys who actually made Devil May Cry. So yeah. That's why it was like... It wasn't... I don't know. I, 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 the story is contrived and very like out there, so I didn't really care for it. It was like a side story. It was like a story that wasn't part of the main story. Like no. after after four, he's just like, "Oh fuck my fam! I'm going back to being a robot." Basically, I'm excited for five. End of discussion. Oh yeah, I can't wait for five. But if they reboot the Metal Gear series, I would be kind of happy just because it's gotten so far out there that it kind of needs a reboot. It's kind of like Resident Evil. Resident Evil so far. like Well, they're going to reboot it after 7. They already announced that. After 7? Or I well, thought 7 could, was the reboot. No, 7 is going to be... A, they're already saying that... They're going to do 7, and then they're going to reboot it after that. Like I'll, I'll see what they do with it. Maybe they'll go back to survival horror, which everybody seems to want. That's what we all want. We don't want this shitty action gameplay from Resident Evil 5 and 6. Six was 4 was all right. Six well, 4 was great, actually. 6 was all right. 5 was, like, wasn't scary. Wasn't Punching bowlers in a volcano. That's what 5 was. That that that, that scene had so much testosterone. You were like, oh, okay, because I'm going to go punch a boulder, too. You were fighting <laughs> a fucking volcano. Like, yeah, it was ridiculous. Wesker's chasing you. He's, do- he's trying to hate you. He's got, like, some tentacles and shit. Like, the boulder's twice the size of a building, and, and you're Chris punching it, like, and it falls into <sighs> lava. It's like, oh, okay. It's fucking bullshit. Sure. Chris, yeah, because you took steroids on the off when we didn't see you. <laughs> Anyways, he did, though, because he's so fucking ripped. And then in the sixth one, he one. wasn't that ripped. Yeah. And, and then the sixth Leon. one, you had a... Uh, the guy who, <laughs> you know, they made a movie on the sixth one. The guy who played in, um, the, the brother of, uh, the brother of the actor who plays Thor. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Tom Hallison. Loki? No, the actual brother who plays. Tom Hallison. No, the actor. The actor who plays the Thor. The brother of who actually plays yeah, that's Thor. Yeah, what I was saying. Uh, Liam, Liam Hemsworth, right? Yeah, it's like. Like Chris and Liam Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth actually could be. If they made a movie, Chris Hemsworth would play the guy who was uh, partnered up with Chris. He looks like Liam, uh, Chris Hemsworth. I'm not going to lie. The guy in Expendables 2 who died from the knife. That's yeah, Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. I know who you're talking about. He literally could play. What was that guy's name? Krauser. Not Jack Krauser. Krauser. The sixth one was Chris's partner. Stars. <laughs> That's Nemesis. I'm just making shit up right now. I'm just... By the way, that game is still fucking freaky after all these years. Oh, God. I don't know why you're scared of it. But it's like one of the last good, like, scare, scary games. That is true. 
That is true. Dead Space had it, but then Dead Space 3 came out. And I feel like I said I was going to talk about something in the beginning of the show that I haven't talked about. Cool. I didn't mention the 3DS. What well, did? The new 3DS coming out. I think I just mentioned it quickly. There's a new 3DS coming out that uh, looks like a retro Nintendo controller. Yeah. Yeah. That's all really it. One's over reboot Final Fantasy. Oh, the new Batmobile. Oh, I should yeah. pull up a picture of it. But, uh... Does it look like the Tumblr? Does it look... Uh, it kind of looks like the Tumblr, honestly. I, I was just I like, like, oh, that it's one. I really loved it. I did not like the tank. I'm sorry. I did not like the Tumblr. It was all right. It was just the tank. Yeah, it was. Nothing new. Of course, I'll see how this Batman v Superman goes out. With Ben Affleck as Batman. <laughs> ben Affleck is been a lot of awful movies. He's been in like two good ones I liked. The Town and like not not it wasn't Daredevil, I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> what other movie was it? Shit, I can't think of the name. Well Armageddon he was alright in. Well once I once I think of it. I can't even remember what the story was. I remember he was not bad in it, but like there's he's just been in a lot of awful films. Truly awful films. But the town was actually pretty good with him and with him and Jeremy Renner. Which one was the town? Oh, gosh, it was like uh, there were a bunch of thieves or some shit. They were trying to like rob this like they were trying to make this big heist of a bank. It wasn't Tower Heist. Don't think of that. That movie was not that great. <laughs> I didn't see that, but all right. No, it's just what most people think. Oh, Tower Heist, the one with Ben Stiller in it. That movie was also awful. That's the new Batmobile. Well, a shot of the new Batmobile. So it's like a mixture of the Tumblr and the new old one. Kinda. Like. Mm, it's not bad, I guess. It's whatever. The photos are I'm pretty. still not excited for Batman v Superman, so that's all I have to say about it. The thing is, the scene that the scene that they, they like to push a lot of the DC characters is, is the show. The show seems to be getting attention, not the movies. Yeah. Well, I mean, they had such an accept. Oh, fuck me. Stop <laughs> yawning, damn kid. They had a success with um. Arrow. Green, the, yeah, Green Arrow. Yeah, and now they're doing the Flash TV show. And Gotham. Well, no, Fox is doing Gotham. <laughs> I watched uh, Smallville. Don't watch that. When I was, like, in high Don't. school. Smallville, I remember that yeah. show. I liked it, because I like, I like Superman. No, don't do that stuff. Don't do it. Exactly. Ew, you I like do. Superman? Yeah, I do. Why? He's so He's OP. So and so... He's, he's not simple. He's well, OP. I mean, like, yeah, exactly. That's the point. Like, he's just... OP. Everything and then his only weakness is just exactly. There's no rock. point watching him. You know he's gonna awesome. win. <laughs> you know he's gonna win. And he's so nice. OP things suck. I prefer superheroes that can die. Spider Man, you shoot him with a gun, he's fucking dead. Well, Iron Jordan, Man, if he's out of his suit, shoot him with a gun, he's dead. He's Batman, shoot him with a gun, he's dead. Like that's all. Jordan, oh yeah. Superman Jordan. just throw some green rocks and. Then you can Where are you going to get the green rocks? You they don't, don't grow on the fucking trees. Exactly. <laughs> Look, I <laughs> found this in the tree. I'm just that I got that kryptonite tree in my backyard. <laughs> it's just growing Keep you out, Superman. Kryptonite. Get off my lawn, Superman. <laughs> fucking A. I laced all my fucking cars to run on kryptonite engines. <laughs> you get to the car, he just goes, Oh, God, I can't take it. Too much kryptonite. I don't know. I didn't like much Damn. of the DC heroes. I just like... I like Green Arrow and probably Nightwing and Deathstroke. You know what I it. like? Sack of dead bodies. Okay. Since you're like, bro. Shh. We're just sitting in silence for a good minute. Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Even Stevens a couple of weeks oh ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> just because. Even Stevens. Oh, my God. Just because I was like, I'm tired of seeing Shia LaBeouf all over. Like, he's gone crazy and in Transformers. So I watched an episode and... Did anybody used to watch the show more. Cyborg 009? No. Okay, just me. I don't think I've heard of that. I've heard of it. It's an anime. Okay, that's... Yeah. All right, well, thanks, guys. It makes me feel weird. <laughs> well, there's a lot of animes I haven't seen. Why Why don't you watch animes? Well, they appear on Net the ones that appear on Netflix I watch, but then they either end, like, at five episodes, or they just have one episode. Netflix keeps telling me, like, you would love this anime. And I'm like, I don't understand. I never watched anime on here. Why are but you But you would love me, it. <laughs> why are you telling me that I should like these if I've never watched one before? Because. On I don't know. 
The point is. You watch Doctor Who. You must also like anime. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> do they do that. They do that. Yeah, they do that. Are together. you a thirteen-year-old girl? Because if you girl? watch, like, <laughs> you can watch The Expendables too, and they're like, "Oh, watch Along Came Polly," because you watch The Expendables too. It's like, how does that have anything <laughs> to do with that, that really movie? Makes sense. Uh-huh. They, they do the one that, thing though. I think Netflix has spot on is the Max. You ever try that? Like, they get the Max from Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> No. no, but thanks oh. for telling us that. Well, if you watch it, it's basically like it, it gives you suggestions for shows when you oh, don't yeah. know what to watch. Huh. It knows me so well. It's just like, Dylan, I'm going to give you a mystery movie. Like, it's your choice. You either hit play or we go normally. And I'm like, all right, motherfucker, hit play. And it would be like some movie I really like. And I'll be like, oh, Netflix knows me. <laughs> the cloud knows you. <laughs> it does. Netflix knows me. Represent. I love you, Netflix. I'm going to marry you one day. I'm going to stab, no, a, I like Netflix I'm a, stab a bitch named Hulu. Yeah. I don't care. Hulu's fine. I just don't like the commercials that they add in. Yeah, like I you pay, pay for, for you. it. Oh, don't think me. I don't yeah. care about the fucking... I even got the Hulu Plus. I just went on Hulu because... Uh, it's always the damn commercials for cashews. Always. It's always the fucking cashew commercials. That was always a damn Cadillac commercial. It's cashews. First off, I hate cashews. I don't like any kind of peanuts or nuts or any kind like that. Second off, fuck you, Hulu. It doesn't know me, because if it knew me, it would know I didn't like cashews. Netflix knows never to show me anything with cashews, because it knows I don't like nuts. I love you, Netflix. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a rap about marrying Netflix. Right now? No, not right now. Good. No. Why? Why you gotta say good, Nick? You know I'm the best MC on this side of the West. <laughs> I am. I am. Shit. It's getting hot in here. Yeah. It's getting real hot. I should leave the room. All right. Do you not get the joke? It's, it's hot in here because of yeah, me. Yeah, good one. Took you a while. I got it. So, Nick, when are we going to, I don't know, get into Warhammer? What's up with that? Why don't you buy anything for it? What the fuck's well, wrong with you? I have to invest money into that. I know Warhammer's expensive. It, it is. can be, and I have to... I'd rather you get a PS4 first. Yeah, and plus, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to California first. So that's going to be another mm-hmm. dent. Are you going to go to Disney? Actually, I might. Good. Cause not Disney, you Universal up there. Well, well, why not Disney? I don't care for Disney. What? I've only been there once. Oh See, that's why. I love I Disney. Like I haven't been to Disney in forever. If you've been as a little kid, then you just you just like it for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't live here when I was a little kid. I didn't I, either. I used to fly down here to go to it. Yeah, we never... We, my, first, my first time ever going to Florida was... Shit. My Dick. <laughs> interrupt me again. It's like the eighth time. Sure. It was like my freshman year of high school. Oh, knock, wow. knock. Or something like that. What? Knock, knock. Shut up. Knock, knock. What? Knock, knock. I'm not saying anything. Knock, knock. All right. (laughs) Answer it. It's like me when I was here earlier today. Knocking on the door. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting dick. Say it. No. Say it. Interrupting whatever. Dick! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. You can tell I'm tired. What do we do? Where are we, where are we going to eat after this? I don't know. Where do you want to go? I don't know. I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be you. Now I don't. I went to a good sushi place last night. Oh. Do you want to go there again and you pay for me? No. Damn it. Sushi. <laughs> My parents love that shit. Oh, I can't. I'm not I a sushi can't person. Eat, I can't eat this sushi. is a nerd stuff. We're not talking about sushi. See, that was my sign that we're not talking about sushi. What we are going to talk about is, uh, I don't know, Godzilla comes out this week. Woo! Next week on Blu-ray and dippity boo. I'll be buying yeah, it. A dippity bop and bluebird. Pretty sure it's the movie I really, really want to see. That That's like the only movie I want to see that's actually come out recently. You didn't want to see Guardians of the Galaxy? Godzilla is like the only movie I really want to see. You didn't. You didn't see. You didn't want to see Guardians of the Galaxy. Why? I don't know. I just. I don't. 
It was know. so good. Do you like Star Is that Wars? The one that has like a little raccoon looking yeah. in it. Yeah. That raccoon. looks cute. Wow. All right. Well, I'm sure if you told Rocket Raccoon that he was cute, well, he'd probably like that. Um <laughs> My point is, Godzilla looks so good because I've seen it. I saw it like five times in the theater. I love that movie. It was a great movie. Probably like, it's probably my favorite movie that came out. This, so I, 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 the Guardians was good, but I, Godzilla takes it. Mine's tied between Guardians, Captain America, and Godzilla. That is true. Captain America was, yeah, it'd probably be tied too with Captain America and Godzilla. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, one of I those movies. I fucking love Godzilla. Godzilla was amazing. I remember when I was. I got it right. He just die from missiles. Died in 1998 version. Of that, that wasn't Godzilla, though. So. I know, that's true. It's Zilla. So, there we go. That's all I got to say about that. I mean, Godzilla breeze, expert well, over here. He used atomic breath. He just blew a bunch of cars. And so good. That wasn't even atomic breath. He had, like, legitimate fire breath in that movie. Yeah. like he just, Stupid. No, in this one, he just blew on cars, and the cars ignited. Yeah. They considered that as atomic breath. It was great. <sighs> Of course, the cartoon Gojira. series they, they made after that was actually not bad. The what? Have you ever seen the cartoon series that was based right after that? Yeah, that was a good series. That was the Wait, version. they made a cartoon series? Based off the 98 one. Like, it was that, you know, like at the end, the egg that hatched? Yeah. It was that Godzilla, like, that one lived in, like... But it was controlled by oh, humans. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it was, like, a, it, was like, it was, like, you know, the hero. It was similar like, how old Godzilla is. Like, he was the hero, and he always huh. saved. And, like, other monsters came and attacked, and he would fight them off. Like, yeah, no, like fuck Gamera. Gamera. Yeah, I know. Gamera! <laughs> I don't know. Um, My friend loves Gamera. Friend tell you what. Cody loves Gamera. Does anything else, anyone else have anything else to talk about? Nope. Anything? All right. Well, might as well make some announcements, and then we'll go. Cause we'll make this an early episode, because I'm kind of tired and really hungry. But I'm not really focusing right now, and I keep on fucking with my phone. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry it was a short episode, but tune in next week. Every Thursday, we have our podcast. Every Friday, we have our Let's Plays, or King Plays. Every Tuesday, we have our Classic uh, classic Plays, where we play old and retro games. You should join us on that. We're still doing Resident Evil 3 for a while, so. Nah, yeah. we'll be done with that soon enough. Yeah, well, no, I'm saying it, it's the next few videos, but yeah, we should be done. I haven't decided what we want to, uh, we want to, I want to do for the next game. I we'll figure that out. Um, we're switching to PS4s though, so you only have to stick with our old PS3s if you yeah, consider you PS3 old. Point out the graphics very well. We'll begin the PS4 soon, yeah. so you can point out that. A you know, little bit better so graphics, better. teeny bit better graphics. Yeah, our, this, our shit's coming, guys. Look at you this know. retro gameplay you guys are playing here. We're still, a, we're still yeah. an old, well, we're still an old channel. No, we're still a new channel, so we, we got to get the kinks worked out. But PS4s, we'll start doing PS4 let's plays in sometime in October, so just be ready for that. I know in October we're also going to start live streaming on Friday nights. So even if it's just me playing a game, you guys get to look forward to that. So be happy. And other than that, I mean, we have a big event coming in November. I'm not giving you guys details on that yet, but it's, it's coming. So I think, I think a lot of people would know. Well, the people who listen might know. Well, no, no. The people who listen don't know. The people, the people who, who are in the inner play, circle yeah. of, like, the podcast would know. But not the podcast, but just the channel itself. But anyways, look forward to that, guys. And like us on Facebook. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Tell all your friends, you know, the more views and shit we get, the better. Yeah, I'm done plugging. Yeah. Bye, everyone. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.